Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we uh, were looking around for the artifact uh, subsequently. Turns out it was not anywhere near where I thought it would be. Uh, you see this here? Opens that. Never noticed that ever while I was first in here. So, this is the artifact. It's not that good. Believe me. It was almost not worth trying to find it. See this particular ring, once we look at it, whenever a creature you have reanimated takes damage, they explode for 50 points of frost damage and die. Which means literally anything you summon, even if it's the strongest fucking thing, if you reanimated it, rather, they will just explode and die and then no longer be useful. Which would be good if they actually functioned the way they were supposed to half the time and actually go out and fight. Problem is, they will usually be right next to you when they get hit, and then explode on you, and make you take all that damage. So it's kinda worthless in my opinion. I can sell it, I can sell it for damn sure, but that's about as much use as I'm gonna be able to get out of that myself. So, screw it. <laughs> really? Just screw it? But, that said, we are uh, going to go up here again and get out of here and get on with some of our other things that we were supposed to be doing. Uh, oops, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Um, we're not going to be doing this for a while because it takes a couple days. Um, we're going to be doing the finding the Temple of Mirak thing, which we should have been doing for a while. But we've kind of been... Uh, bullshitting around a little bit and avoiding that. Is that thing glowing? Yeah, it's glowing on the underside. That's weird. <laughs> That's a little weird. But then again, kind of not considering it's magic. Does that that kind of makes sense? Really? It's floating fucking tentacles with a tortoise shell on the back. So, of course, it's going to be a little magical and a little odd. That's the sort of thing you find in Japanese animes. Okay, that joke aside, let's uh, go uh, this way. I think that's the direction I'm supposed to go. Uh, yeah, kinda. Kinda suited. It's a little bit meandering. Alright. Let's just pop out this far. There we go. And, good God, this is going to take forever and a half. <laughs> I can just guarantee that now. But, onward we go regardless. Oh wait, that's right. I forgot. I can get Arvac. So, it's not as much of a trek as I thought it would be. Onward we go. And there we are. Get my sword back out again. So that way I can at least fight, should I need to. There we go. Out it is, and there we go. Perfect. Why are there torch bugs around here? Why would there be torch bugs? Also... Can I pick them up? No, I can't. Of course not. Of course not. I need to get off of Arvac to get the Lunar Moth Wings that I want. I, would you get off the horse? Please, thank you. God damn. Uh, Lunar Moth. Oh, that, he just phased in and out of existence for like five seconds. God damn. Was there, is there another thing over here? Is there another one? There is. Oh, fuck. He flew away. Damn it. That, that, uh, I don't want to spend the time chasing him. I mean, I know I'm a cat, but come on now. There's no need to give in to all the stereotypes. I mean, I'm not lapping milk out of a little bowl, am I? Yet. Okay, that, j that joke's run its course. Okay, let's go to the... Oh! oh, boy. Got a couple of these. Come on now. Let me get come on. There we go, hit one. And there we go, hit another. Oh, come on, there's like five of them there. There we go. Go one more. Oh, I missed. I missed by country mile. There we go. Good stuff. I kind of want to loot them. I kind of earned that right. I'm sure those souls were petty souls, so I'm fine with that. Uh, Ash Hopper Jelly, kind of want that. Uh, 
hopper leg, not really as much. Oh. Oh. Those are parts of the ash hopper. Okay. Well, I mean, that's kind of gross, but okay. I guess. Uh, take the jelly. Take... Nope, that's... That's its own thing. And... Nope, that's its own thing. And the other one's over here. There we go. Uh, meat. I can't really cook the meat, can I? I don't think so. But, looks like we're already near one of the other stones. Which is probably a good thing. Probably. I wonder who's working around this one. Because there's usually a workforce around these stones here. Usually being subjugated from the nearby peoples. But I don't know who. Uh, that might be an indication. That little marker there. Okay. Oh, whoa. Frame rate. Calm the fucking hell down. God damn. Okay. Um, yeah. This looks very mushroomy. I could probably get really high here. Bleeding crown, I need that. And, uh, <laughs> segueing out of that bad joke. Okay. That we might remember. Bunch of reavers. Sunstone. By night we reclaim. Huh. It's a bunch of reavers what working this. Day was stolen. Far Alrighty. from ourselves. Ooh, nightshade, I'll take that. He grows ever right. near. Yeah, they're they're chanting the <laughs> chanting the same stuff the other ones were saying over at the other stone. Same sort of stuff and everything. I'm pretty sure. Now through them does he speak? Yeah, they they are just completely enthralled by this uh, sunstone here. What the fuck they're building around it? And if I touch it, I'll end up doing the same thing they are, so I'm not going to do that. Alrighty. Uh, let's go over here. Whatever this thing is, where things are phasing into the world. What the hell is... What the hell is this? Uh, hi? Revis? Oh, look on your face. I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. Is that what that is over there that's moving? Uh, what is it? This is Dusty. Okay. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. It probably was. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. Okay. How do you survive out here then? We get bar trading odds and ends with the locals. Okay. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Fair enough. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk Striders are pretty rare now. Are they? Uh, about them. What would you like to know? Uh, why are they so rare? The blast from the volcano wiped most of them out. Oh, no. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silt Strider cocoons are pretty tough. I'd say. What are they, what were they used for? Mostly for transporting goods and people. They were pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. Fair enough. A Silt Strider carapace is so strong, it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even Good. the legendary sandstorms of Vardenfell's Molag armor region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. Well, yeah, I guess. Enough about this. All right. Let's see what you got for sale. Take a look. Probably not a lot. Yep, yeah, doesn't look like a lot. He has arrows. I assume he made himself a whole bunch of this stuff. I don't necessarily know what all of it's for. The Emperor Parasol Moss. Uh, Nets Jelly. I, I should probably find out what that's for. That is pretty. That is pretty. Still have no idea what it is for, though. And he got a couple of... what? Kagrama's Resonance Gem. What the hell is this gem for? Uh... Okay. Sell you that arrow. 
I'm gonna keep this pickaxe, obviously. Um, sell you these arrows, how about that? Yeah, just a few things that you can sell off for a little bit more than what you got it for, maybe. And, uh, you don't even have enough gold to take this off my hand. Uh, not even enough to take more than one, so there we go. I'm good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very good. At least for me, not much, as much for him. Kind of took every bit of his gold that he was willing to part with. All right, what the hell is with this marker here? That's what I want to know. Also, there's like a whole bunch of mushrooms around here that aren't, you know, gigantic. Oh, give me a second. Something on my computer decided, oh, you need to update something. No, I don't. Uh, there we go. Oh, jeez, that took forever now. All right, upwards towards this giant mushroom. Maybe it's friendly. Uh, maybe not. What the? Why oh. are you out here? Aren't you supposed to be in the tower assisting Master? Why won't this summoning work? Um. If you must know, I am trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. That's probably not now a good idea continue. to be doing anything this like that. Shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Nello has tasked Alenia with repairing the tower. Gotcha. Doing this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us. The uh, the lab is too small. Also, I need the ashy sword. Master Neloff knows what I'm doing. Are you sure? I need to bother him about it, though. He's quite busy at the moment. It sounds like you Our didn't actually get wrong. permission. Just let me get back inside no first. Ash Guardian. Maybe the book has something. I'm not sure. You don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? Oh, well, what is this place? Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Neloff. Oh. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. Oh, it's that guy. He lives in a giant mushroom? In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow buildings from special fungus spores. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. Fair enough. Are you one of his apprentices? No. Talvis is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithrin. Gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Fair enough. I'll, I'll let you do that. Well, uh... Busy picking bleeding crown. It's just seems to be all over the place. I'll just ignore that part. What? You're not supposed to ignore parts of a spell. That's when things go wrong. Then you go boom. Then you're dead. Usually. What are you doing? I think you belong here. Does Master Neloff know about you? Um, excuse me? Go fuck yourself. Are you practicing a spell? Yes. Trying to summon an Ash Guardian. You're He's failing as well. Deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. Alrighty. Have fun failing at summoning things. Because you suck. Ass. What's this? Uh, Apothecary. Not where I wanted to go. What is. Who's this guy? Where'd he come from? I hope you're not expecting a meal. I've barely got enough for them that live here. Well, not really, but okay. Uh, Alright, I guess. I guess I'll go in this big mushroom here. Because no one else is telling me shit about what's going on here. Okay, that's weird looking. A lot of this is weird looking. It's a giant friggin' mushroom. There we go. And where'd we go? My wrist cracked. That was weird. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Especially because I didn't do anything to make it crack. Ah. Float up. Alright. Whee! Ooh, jeebus. That was fast. Alright. Who's this guy? I assume Nella. If you're hey. going to be up here, stay out of my way. How about not? Huh? You again. Didn't I see you in Raven Rock? Uh, yeah, I think you did. Now that I think about it, I think I've seen your face before. What is this, this building? This is a Talvani Tower. It's my citadel, grown from the spores of the giant fungus trees found in Morrowind. Back in the oh. homeland, there are other Talvani wizards that have them as well. 
Uh, I've heard of the House Tilvani of Morrowin. Of course you have. Yeah, of course I have. Everyone has heard of the Master Wizards of Morrowind. Well, anyone who's anyone. We are one of the great houses that rule Morrowind. If you say so. You must be a very powerful wizard. I am likely the greatest wizard you will ever meet. Probably Who true. else do you think could create a staff enchanter? Huh. If you make yourself useful around here, I might just let you use it. Fair enough. Is there anything else mm -hmm. I can get out of you? Uh, where is everyone? They are off working on their pillar. Happens every night. Can't you make them stop? Make them stop? Oh no, certainly not. At least not yet. Not until I've figured out what is going on. Okay. Imagine the power of being able to command entire villages to do your bidding. Imagine what I could do with that power. I don't think I want you having that power. <laughs> I honestly don't think I want you having that power. To be perfectly honest here. Uh, can I help with your research? Mm. Maybe. I do have a new spell I'm working on. I mm -hmm. hope to be able to conjure ash spawn. Okay. If I could get a sample of ash from an ash spawn, that would be quite useful. Isn't that what you're... I've made this special tool that will explain... Guys, you. doing... Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go harvest a sample. Okay. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I'm typically good at that. So, yeah, I'll now, do that. Where did I... Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess you're looking for things. I'm going to go down here. I, I would not recommend jumping down yourself, because that will kill you. That drop will kill you. There we go. But when you do it with the floater, you're just fine. Believe me. I'm going to finish off my coffee here real quick. There we go. Oh! What did you do? What did you do, you idiot? You've got to help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. What's in your hand right now? That is really weird how it's just floating like that. <laughs> it's your mess, you clean it up. You won't help me? I could! Mr. Nelof is going to kill me, assuming he doesn't make me into a test subject again. Alrighty. What was that? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill this fucker. An Ash Guardian, huh? Oh, geez, this guy is really strong. Holy fuck. And that was almost too good. I did not expect to be able to kill him in two swings like that. Okay, where is... Where is the fool? Huh? The fool has started this shit. Okay, I'll do this and this. Pop those on. He must have ran inside. I presume, anyway. Okay, well, I mean, I'll... Now that I'm wrapped up in this, I might as well finish it. Alright. Where did he go? God damn it. This is gonna take forever and a half. <laughs> Just to get done and explain what happened. Okay, there we go. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Already done that! You suck. Okay. Tell us. Is it done? Talva. Is the Ash Guardian gone? Yeah, it's gone, because I killed it. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I might just I tell him anyway. I don't have gold to pay you with, but I can give you the staff. Okay. Uh, what went wrong with the Ash Guardian spell? No, oh, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. Ah. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. I see. Alrighty, well, now I know. And I have plenty. <laughs> what do you got for sale? Take a look. Alrighty. Uh, got a whole bunch of conjuration spells. And fire spells. And mostly destruction spells in general. It's nice. Hey! Reanimate corpse and revenant. I kind of want revenant, because I don't think I have that yet. I'm going to sell the staff back to you, because fuck you, I don't want it. Uh, going to sell the ring, because I kind of didn't want that. 
Uh, what else? I should enchant this stuff before I sell it, but fuck it. Gets it out of my inventory. Uh, yep, and yep, and yep. Oh, he only <laughs> he doesn't have enough. Okay, well, uh, in that case, let me look at what else I can sell your ass. Well, I, I need that, so I kind of can't sell that to you. Ah, I have more grand soul gems with greater souls in them, even though I don't want them to have greater soul in them. Jeez, I have so many petty souls. Holy shit. Uh, do you have any greater soul gems? You do. An extra empty one would be good, considering I keep running into them. Okay, and I think I'm done. There we go. Until next time. Yeah, next time. That's the phrase. Uh, so I guess I gotta get an ash spawn. Yep. I kinda wanna hear this conversation. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. I'll fix it right away. <laughs> Apparently he broke something and now he's not gonna get taught nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, I know that was a double negative, triple negative, quadruple negative, I don't know. I was probably not going to get taught nothing. Yeah, that was a double negative. Okay, I'm going to learn that. There we go. Put that into the favorites. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Revenant. Holy shit. That is a lot of mana cost. Although I think... If I remember right. No, nope, I don't have it to add up yet. That'll cut it in half when I get that. But not there quite yet. Quite yet is the key phrase. Alright, I just want to look at everything else quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. I'm, I'm, I'm as good as this is going to get at this point. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Alright. Now that I've gotten all that done and I've listened in on that conversation... And I helped out a little bit around here, which is always nice to do, because I usually get rewards out of it. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank y'all so much for watching. My eye is twitching like a motherfucker. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and looking at giant fucking mushrooms for you.